My name is Jordan Watts. You indicated to me when we were on our bike ride today that both of your grandparents had a significant influence on your life. I'd like you to highlight some of the things that your grandfather instilled in you. Uh, work ethic uh, was probably number one. Uh, my grandfather uh, told me very early on that you really don't get anywhere <laughs> without working hard. So I, I think that's how I developed uh, that trait. Never give up uh, is another one that he instilled within me. So a uh, part of that was any time that we did come across some failure, he would uh, assist me in, in turning that around and, and trying to find a positive positive aspect to it and, and to move through it. So learning from failures uh, and hard work are probably the two biggest things that my grandfather taught me. He also indicated he helped you with your math. Yes, yeah, I had some <laughs> some problems with times tables when I was in grade seven, and I remember we actually would go on some fishing trips together, and he would teach me little poems that I could remember certain times tables, and I still remember those poems to, to till today. And you want to give me one? <laughs> well, I think one was four times seven is twenty-eight and eleven. He said a young girl who was walking away with her mother and grandpa would sing a, a tune with that but I'll never forget that four times seven is actually 28. <laughs> and, and your grandmother passed on some wisdom. Yeah patience I think mostly from my grandmother. She I don't know another person that's as patient and as calm and as kind uh, as my grandmother and anytime I would have little temper tantrums or you know, yelling and screaming. She would never raise her voice and she would just stay calm. And when I calmed down, I'd come back and she would help me <laughs> with whatever we were doing. But she's certainly the rock uh, in the relationship with my grandmother and grandfather. How has this manifested itself, certainly in your hockey career and now in your uh, your law practice? Well, those traits that you learn as a as a young person have helped me throughout every aspect of my life, uh, certainly with hockey, uh, hard work and, and learning from failure, and then as well as going into law. Um, I, I think that any aspect of anyone's life with those two, two traits uh, will help you get through, and it certainly helped me. What about the patients? <laughs> Are you <laughs> able to handle the patients in the law business? Uh, let's just say I'm, I'm learning. That's coming with maturity. I've always had some problems with patients, but uh, you know, the older you get and the more experienced you get, it's it's developing. All right, in that you understand EPV, have you thought about the EPV when you're going to be grandparenting? Well, that's a long no, way. No, to... Interestingly enough, I have, and I, I look at my daughter, and I I think of her when she's going to be grown up, and she's going to have her family, and she's going to have kids, and and I do. And working with you too, Vic, like, you know, you're an inspiration to me and how you deal with your sons and daughters and grandchildren. Uh, I want to be like you. Oh, good. <laughs> so you've got a great EPV there. I do. An EPV. Well, you remind me a lot of my grandfather as well. So like both of you. Thank you.